right. Um, welcome, everyone. Tonight, um, we're going to give it a try. I'm going to try a ball cap. I have it right here. Just a plain white ball cap. If I mess it up, it's not the end of the world. It's not super expensive or anything. And um, this, uh, this water is left over from what I made on Friday night. They say it's only good for two days, so today's Tuesday, so it's been more than two days. So we're going to give it a try anyway. It doesn't smell bad because it does get a bad smell. It's not moldy. It has been sitting in the garage, not refrigerated, just sitting on the floor in the garage in the uh, gallon jug. So we'll see if it works. It might not, but I thought I couldn't stand it. I wanted to try it. So um, we're going to give it a go tonight. I do have a stool down here. I'm going to move it so I don't trip over it while I'm adding my paint because I need to get up above the container to dip the hat in. So this is going to be fun. I've not done anything like this before, so I'm anxious to give it a try. I'm going to start oh, my white paint. Some of it dropped to the bottom right away. This is seems to be spreading nicely out here. Yeah, I don't know if that'll catch. I don't know if you can catch that on the screen, but it. Some of them are. If I'm too close, I think they're just falling right to the bottom. Keep, I need to keep a little bit more distance with me than the, from the surface. And again, this just will help intensify any color that I put on here. I tried to make this water solution a little bit thicker than I had it before. All right, so that's going to be enough of the white. So I want to use some blue. Actually, I think I'll use the blue blue first. Whoops, I always pop the top instead of taking it off. I don't know why I do that. So I want this one, and now we're going to add some blue in here. Hopefully, I'm working in the um, in my kitchen today because it's. I wanted to see if the temperature would make a difference in the way that the time that I have to manipulate the paint and the way the paint dries. And this is just a small surface, so it's not going to take very much paint at all. So now I'm going to add some teal. surface. Can you see the white? It's getting brighter as I add these other colors. And now I'm going to put a little bit more white inside some of these other drops. Yeah, the 
the white really seems to be sinking unless I drop it from a higher distance. All right. Close up the paint. I don't know what the temperature is in the house. I don't know if we have adjusted the um, Uh, let's see. Whoops, I'm going to fall over that stool yet. Let me grab these other little colors here. I don't know if we've adjusted the AC or not yet. It's 76 in here. So that should be a decent temperature. All right, so this is a bright pink. And the first one that I put in fell straight to the bottom. All right. And I have a lighter pink. I don't really think this is going to take us very long to work with this. I had grand plans for trying to make a heart on the very center of the, uh, you know, on the front of the hat, but <laughs> that might be a little bit too precise for my skills right now. Hi, Rita. Welcome. Getting ready to uh, try, try, the key word being try, to marble a hat. Let's see. I guess I can use this toothpick. So now I'm just going to swirl this, well, drag it back and forth, the Gilgit um, pattern. And then I'm going to go the other way. And again, the, the water is old. It's probably past the time where it says, you know, we should use it before it's this age because it was prepared on Friday night for the party on Saturday, but I'm just testing it since it's just on a piece for me. I thought, why not? I can just test it and if it doesn't work, so be it. I'll do it and I'll do another one. So now let me see if I can get a little bit of red. See if I can just make that. This is the cap that I'm going to use. It's just your regular cap. So I see about where I want to try to do the heart. Because I don't give up easily. Let's see, which way does the heart need to go? The heart needs to drag out Yeah, I don't like the way it's spreading so much right there. Can you see that? Oh, thank you, Rita. So the heart is great big, and I think I'm going to try to swirl around here a little bit. Because it's going to take up the whole front, and that's not what I want. But see how that pushed all of that out? It's not what I wanted it to look like. So here's the pink. I'm going to add a little bit of the light pink again and see if I can do a, a, like a heart within a heart. I like having a little bit more time to manipulate things here. And that just seems to be spreading also. 
Now I can see that I'm going to kind of see if I can swirl this back together. Maybe I'll try a teal one. That did not work, so let's, oh, that blue is awful pretty in there. Let's try blue. It's trial and error. It seems like such a tiny container. just pushing everything out that's not what I wanted so we're just going to drop some paint in there oh wait look it's coming back in now if I let it sit a minute let's see if it'll bring it back in Uh, we'll just manipulate this a little bit. Okay, I think I'm ready to go here. So we'll see if this works. I have to get my stool over here so I can get up and get to the right position. So we'll see. Oh, I'm nervous, guys. I'm just going to hold the back of it, and I'm going to hold the little band that's inside the cap. All right, here we go. Well, I don't see a lot of paint left on the surface. And look at that. Look at that. I am so excited. And my hands are a mess and I hate goopy hands. Can you see it? There we go. So I'm going to step off the stool and I'm gonna go out of the camera a little bit for a second while I try to get over to the sink without getting goop everywhere. And I'm just going to give it a quick rinse. Just, I'm just washing the excess uh, medium off the hat, just rinsing it real quick. Now I have no idea how to heat set this, but since it's not ever going to get washed, I don't know if it's a an issue or not. I've got to get this goop off my hands. Sorry guys. Alright, just rinsing my hands really quickly here. when I pulled that out it had also clung to my hands so you can do um... <laughs> isn't that fun you can uh, you know do your arms and stuff like that if you wanted to but I'll pick the hat up again in just a second but there's not much uh, paint left on the surface of the water at all it picked up almost all of it so I have it on sitting on the lid of the tray or the lid of the little container that I used. So this is what it looks like. It actually worked. I cannot tell you how excited I am. So there it is. The heart, it turned into a flower, which will do just fine. I love the colors. And then, I see, I didn't waste any of that paint. It seems to work just fine. 
There is a little like of a little smudgy area here when I stopped and kind of I need to have maybe a little bit bigger container and I need to roll it a little bit more smoothly. And, um, but I'm very pleased with the way it turned out here. Let me turn it around and show you the back. So there's the back of it. I'm trying not to get water all over the place since I am in the kitchen. I usually work outside, so. My first um, public event is going to be on Saturday, so I get to wear my new hat while I'm uh, out. But that, that worked well. That worked better than I ever anticipated that it would. Oops. Just saw water on the floor. I had to wipe up. But that's that's really all I wanted to do tonight. I just wanted to test it. I had no idea if it would work or not. I think if I had a little bit deeper and a little bit wider tub, I would have had a little bit better um, control over the paint going on. Um, I just had this sitting here, and so I thought I would give it a try since it looked deep enough. Um, it is. It could be just a smidge deeper. It wasn't too bad. I think the width is the more of the problem. I needed a little bit longer and a little bit wider. It was a little tight, but it still turned out perfect on the front. The front looks much better than the back does, but I'm thrilled. Um, maybe I'm going to do a little bit of research, Trisha. That's what I was kind of thinking. I also have a heat gun, and I thought if I... Um, propped it up and just give it, gave it a couple shots of a heat gun, that might help too. That might set it. But I was going to research um, and to see if I can find alternate methods to heat, you know, heat set something. So I don't know. I have a super old dryer, so I don't know if it would go that hot. And, you know, just if one thing's bouncing around in there and I don't know if I could put towels in there with it or not. So... I might just drag out my heat gun and give it a shot um, like that. Once it's dry, I need to let it, I'll go hang it back in the bathtub and let it dry for 12 hours so I won't mess with it again until tomorrow, well, tomorrow sometime. And then give it a shot of, and see if I can uh, get it heat set or not. But I'm so excited. So that's really all I have for you tonight. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you want to share it with your friends, that would be great. Um, I appreciate all of you being here, and I'm so excited. I can't stand it now. Good thing I still have a few hours before bedtime. I'm going to have to come down off of this excitement. So that's all for tonight. Thank you very much. And until we meet again, stay crafty, guys. Bye.